Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today we're going to be working on a new tutorial. Uh, this one's going to create a room correction uh, filter based on one measurement position instead of an array of positions like we did in the previous tutorial. So today I've taken uh, three measurements from my left speaker and three measurements from my right speaker. And again, this is all from one position with the microphone in the middle of my head, essentially, where my head is right now. So the first thing I'm going to do here is take you through my preferences so I can show you what settings I'm using. Um, these are basic, you know, this is personal preference. I like to take the stick traces off. I like to save trace color with my measurements. That way these all stay um, red and blue, for example. For my equalizer settings, we're using rephase. Um, these measurement uh, settings up here, these target defaults, they don't matter very much at all. Uh, the room curve, though, this is important for us today. We're going to be using a uh, low frequency rise and a high frequency fall of 200 hertz. Um, the end here doesn't make any difference, uh, but the slope does. Okay, so we're using 0.5 here for the low and 0.6 here for high. And you can set this here, and it will populate into your EQ windows when you get there. You won't have to reset these settings every time. All right, and my analysis. Uh, I like to keep full impulse response. Remove this if it is checked. Um, we're using basically the settings here. These are important. Uh, make sure this is turned off, and we want no smoothing here. Okay, now... The first step in the process is to align the impulse response start times. So click this button here, and in a few seconds we should have a result. Make sure these are all selected, by the way, when you do this. Okay, so now if we look at overlays and we switch over to step, uh, we can see that all of the impulse responses have been aligned to this time, zero. Okay, next thing to do is to smooth these out. So we're going to choose 1-6 smoothing and hit apply smoothing. All right, so now all of our measurements have been smoothed and we're going to deselect the uh, right ones. So all my blue ones get deselected and I have my left speaker measurements selected here. So I'm going to go about the process of creating my averages. Okay, I can use dB average or I can use RMS average. In this particular case, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to use RMS average. Rename this. Oop, we got to spell it correctly. Magnitude left. Change this to a red color and invert my, re, uh, my selection over here. So I right click and I hit toggle selections. Now my right ones are selected, so I'm going to hit RMS average again. This time we get magnitude R. Make sure this is blue. Okay, the next thing to do is to prepare these for future processing. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my magnitude L come over to the SPL and Phase tab, and then click Generate Minimum Phase here. Generate and Close, and do the same thing for my right side. Generate and Close. Okay, so these are prepared now. They have phase data, so I can use them in the future. Back to all SPL. I am going to deselect everything, so clear my selections here. Select my left speaker measurements again. Go to Vector Average, click this button, change this to an L because it is my left side, Vector L. Color doesn't matter, and you'll see why in just a second. So deselect this. Actually, you know what? I will clear my selections and just grab my right speaker measurements again. Vector Average again. This becomes Vector R. And what I'm going to do now is create minimum phase copies of these, all right? So we'll take measurement actions, 
minimum face version. Click this button, make min face copy, and then do the same for the right side. So we'll make a minimum face copy there. Now, the original vectors we do not need any longer, so I can delete them. All I'm interested in are these two copies right here. So these get the final colors. These are blue and red. This one's already red, so I'm just going to leave it. And now my averages are ready to go.